guys, I'm still a bit ill, so I thought I'd just make the 3D short video today. I've had a few questions about my charm bracelet. It is a Pandora charm bracelet, and I thought I'd just make a quick video showing you what charms I've got on there and why I have them, basically. This is what it looks like on. I always have this bracelet on. I actually never take it off. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, I always have it on. Um, as you can see, it is almost completely full up, so I will probably need to buy a new one soon. I have had this for at least five or six years. So it is a collection I've built up over time. So I have just taken it off and kind of bunched all the charms up. So as you can see, I only have this tiny bit to fill. So if any of you are unaware about how they latch, they do have a little um, Pandora latch here and that just clips in. Thank you very much, kitten. So I will show you these in order, but first off, I'm just gonna talk about this safety class, which I got probably about six months ago. My bracelet is obviously getting heavier with every charm that I add and it's just starting to get to the point where I'm beginning to worry that the cloth is going to undo. So I bought the safety chain just in case one day it does undo and just to make sure that it doesn't fall off. It never has undone but it's just sort of a precaution that I'm willing to take because these charms are quite expensive and when you add up the whole price of it, it does come to quite a large sum of money. So the bracelet itself is kind of this like snake-like chain. So when my brother got married, he gave a bracelet to all of the bridesmaids and he also gave us all a charm. And I got this heart charm here. So this was the first charm I ever had. And because I was quite young at the time and I wasn't earning any money, I had this bracelet just for the one charm on for ages. So when I left school, I was probably around 16-ish. Um, I had my leavers prom and I had a lot of issues around that time um, a lot of plans got cancelled and last minute I arranged to go on a double decker bus to prom with a few of my my oldest and best friends so I got this charm given to me by my mother um, just so that I could remember prom and this was my prom jewellery I just wore this bracelet with the heart and the bus on it I think a while went by and I didn't get any more for ages and then for my 18th birthday I did actually ask for charms and I got this little monkey charm. I got this from my auntie and it is very special to me. My auntie bought me a toy monkey when I was really really young. So I've had this monkey literally for ages it always sits on my bed i remember the year that i got this monkey um i remember getting the present and thinking this is the worst present ever because everyone else got really fun and interactive presents and i just got a toy monkey but i still have him today he is grubby and he's lost a limb but he just lives on my bed and i can't really remember life without him so she bought me this on my 18th just to kind of symbolize the fact that Although I was sort of legally an adult, I still carried around this toy which I'd had since I was, you know, three, four years of age. The next one I got f was from a friend that I had at school. She was one of my best friends and we kind of bonded a lot over photography. So it's like a miniature camera. It's got some tiny little buttons on the back with a screen and a viewfinder and then a little lens on the front. It is highly detailed for the fact that it is so small. On our 18th birthdays, we did decide to give each other charms, and this was the one she chose for me. Ever since I left school, I did a GCSE in photography with her. I then also did A-level photography, and ever since then, I have been constantly going out with my camera, and as you can see, I've been filming and things like that. The next two I got from my brother, the same brother who gave me the bracelet in the first place, and this one is quite simple. It's just a heart, and on each heart it says 21. So the next one is these two little cats which they're kind of looking into each other and then on the back their little tail is in a heart. These are super super cute and again so much detail that is put into them with their little paw prints underneath and their little facial expressions. Cats have always been one of my favourite animals. I've always had a cat, so 
this was one of the many different options that Pandora do of cat charms and my brother decided to get this one for me. So this next one is a tiny little ghosty. There wasn't actually a meaning behind this other than the fact that I love Halloween. I did buy this around Halloween. Someone got it as an unwanted gift so I, I mean, got it for myself as a Halloween present and it's this really simple little cute ghost with a really happy little face. It does remind me a lot of the latest Spooky Box Club ghost box. He is part of a Halloween range. There are three in the range. There's the ghost, the pumpkin and also a witch and they are quite rare so I found this one on eBay. It probably cost me around £45 which is a bit more than I'd usually spend on a Pandora charm but it was definitely worth it. This next one is a little, well, it's an alligator, but I say that it's a dragon. I have a pet bearded dragon and it completely reminds me of him. This one is just on a little loop and it hangs down quite similar to the monkey one. When you look really closely to it, the scales do look more like alligator scales, but it's still in the shape of a lizard or a bearded dragon to me, so I thought that I'd buy it anyway. They don't do any actual specific lizard or dragon charms and this is the closest I could get. Now this charm I've actually modified. Its tail was further away from its head but every time I did anything with my hair my hair would get latched and caught in this tiny little gap and it really really hurt every time I pulled away from my head and it was driving me slightly crazy. I was going to take the charm off but then I just got some pliers and kind of push the tail towards the head and luckily it didn't break and since then I've only kind of caught it on my hair once or twice but it's definitely definitely a great improvement. So this next one I got when I started my job working at a school and it's a little fairy tale book. On the front it says fairy tale with a little fairy tale crown and then it also has little pages and then on the back it has a princess kissing a toad. I will insert a clip just to show you because it's so so detailed. And it is really finely engraved into this. I'm not sure how this will last with time, whether or not it will wear away or not. But at the moment it is clear enough to see and you can make out that it's a little princess kissing a frog. This next one I got in February for my birthday from my sister and it is a little cat. Now it's described as a cat on a cushion but to me this totally looks like a cat on a pumpkin so that's why she got it. I think she got this relatively cheap off of eBay probably around 15 to 20 pounds which is quite good for secondhand Pandora charms and it is just a little curled up cat. Again it has lots of detail probably not as much as the other cat charms they had but I do really like the fact that this does look like a pumpkin instead of a cushion. So this next one actually isn't a Pandora charm. I have done a review on this one and this is a Frightlings charm. It has a cobweb background and a little black heart on it. I simply got it because I felt like I wanted more kind of spooky Halloween-y charms but there are only three on the market so this was a sort of alternative. It is slightly too big for the bracelet, it does slide around quite a lot, but when you've got a charm either side, it's, you can't even notice it, and it's made of sterling silver, so it shouldn't wear at all. And it did actually cost pretty much the same as these other charms would have cost me. This next charm was a present from my parents when I passed my skills test. If any of you aren't familiar about getting into university to do teaching, you have to take an English and Math skills test. Now this is almost like resetting your GCSEs, although the questions are obviously to do with teaching. And it is such a big deal that if you don't pass these, you can't get into university. So this was a gift from my parents when I got in. On one side it has a little sun and on the other side it has a moon with a star and they do have faces on. I I do really love the style of this and this one is the only one of my beads which is a clip on bead which means you can undo it and take it off of the bracelet um, instead of just screwing them on like the other ones are but I do really like this because it means that I can position it anywhere really easily rather than having to take everything off. I do like to keep mine in chronological order 
just so I remember why I got them and in which order I got them. And this last one I bought really, really recently. I got it about a week ago and I got it off of Depop. I got this for £10, which is amazing compared to the price of them on eBay. They are more like £60 on eBay, so when I saw this one, I sent the lady a message like, please, 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 can I have this right now? And she was like, yeah, it's still for sale, and she sent it off the next day. And the shipping was minimal, it was fantastic, so definitely check out Depop again. I know I have just said this in one of my recent videos, but I'm selling stuff on there and I've bought a lot of things from there for really, really good prices. People just want to get rid of things, they aren't too fussed about making too much of a profit, so you can get really, really good deals on there. So that's my Pandora bracelet. If you've got any questions or comments about any of these charms, where I got them and the prices or anything like that, please do leave them down in the comments. And if you've got any charms which you think I will like, any sort of Halloween-y, spooky charms, then please do link them below and let me know about them. I'm always on the hunt for new charms which will go nicely with my collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week. If it's still sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade. And I'll see you next time. Bye!